Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here with KB Trainings. Today I'm going to show you the unboxing of the 40 Switch 110G FPOE. I'm going to tell you why I like this switch and how I'm going to use it in my home network. So this is a multi-gig switch, which means it has different combination of ports. If we look at the data sheet here, we can see that we have two ports that can do 5 gig, 2.5 gig, 1 gig and 100 megabit per second, which is great. We also have eight ports that can do 2.5, 1 gig, 100 meg, and 10 megabit per second of RJ45. And of course, we have four SFP Plus ports that can do 10 gig, 1 gig, and 100 megabit per second, which is great. And this one specifically, I'm going to use it in my garage because right now I have the 40 switch 108 FPOE. It's going to be connected to my access point. And if you know new access points that can do Wi Fi 7, need a lot of bandwidth so i can use the 5 gigabit per second and if, if we look at them beside the 10 gig the 5 gig and the 2.5 have poe so i can connect my wi-fi 7 access point without needing a poe injector and it's going to be uh, running just fine at a higher speed with 5 gigabit per second and also the 2.5 can be used for my cameras the cameras also need a poe i'm going to have like three cameras connected directly on this switch in my garage. So now I'm going to show you the unboxing of the switch and then we're going to connect it to our environment. And the environment I have behind me is what I just used in my video showing you how to block intra traffic VLAN somewhere on the YouTube channel. You can find it there. And this is going to be part of this infrastructure as well. Right now I have a 40 switch 71F, I mean a 40 gate 71F connected to a 40 switch um, 224 E, I think, and I'm going to connect this new switch to that environment. So let's go ahead and unbox it and I'll show you what's in there. All right, this is the switch itself. As you can see right here, we have the eight port that can do 2.5 gigabit per second all the way down to 10 megabit per second, which is a good thing because sometime in some industrial environment, you can find some mold devices like PLCs or any kind of old device that doesn't support higher speed. You are able to go all the way down to 10 megabit per second with this switch. And I love that. And then next to, and of course you have PoE on here. Next to that, we have the 5 gigabit per second that can go all the way down to a 100 megabit per second. And we have the SFP Plus ports, which uh, do 10 gigabit per second all the way down to 100. So in front, we also have a console uh, port here and we have a USB port and of course the reset button. We don't have anything else on the side beside these holes here for ventilation. And I have to mention that this switch is fanless, so you won't have any noise or anything. It can be sitting on your desk like mine right now. You won't be bothered by anything. And in the back, we of course have the alimentation port here for power. And then we have the ground, um, the ground connection to ground the device. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to connect it to my environment that I have behind me, the one we used for uh, blocking intra VLAN traffic. And we'll be able to see from our 40 gate how it's going to come up and we are going to uh, make it part of our security fabric. All right, so we just connected the two switches. It should be able to appear here in our 40 gate. Let's give it a moment. All right, so the switch is here. I can do a right click and authorize the switch. So now we're just going to give it a moment to come back online again. 
All right, so now we have our switch here. As you can see, it still shows the serial number and I can rename the switch by going in the CLI and type this command, config switch controller manage switch. And then I can do rename the name of the switch and to the new name, which is LAN switch number two. And that will bring the switch down for a moment, but it's going to be back. And right here, you can see the two switches that we have, LAN switch and LAN switch two. I was actually supposed to say lab switch, but I made a mistake and I just went with it. And if I go under the topology view, you can see that we have our 40 gate connected to the LAN switch number one, and then the LAN switch number two is connected to the first switch. And if we go under port, we can do everything here. We can assign VLANs, we can do all kinds of changes as we usually do with any 40 switch that is connected to a 40 gate. The 40 gate becomes your switch controller and you manage all the switch configurations from the 40 gate. So right now, guys, I'm going to bring this in my garage. I'm going to install it, connect all the ports that are needed. In the garage, I had been using the 40 switch 108 F FPOE. It's a small switch with PoE supporting my cameras and AP, very useful. But now I'm going to replace it with the new 110G PoE to take advantage of the 5 gigabit per second for the 40 AP with uh, Wi-Fi 7. As you can see, I have a power adapter there. I've connected my three cameras. The 10 gig are not used for now, but I'm using 5 gig for the AP that I'm gonna put there and the other 5 gig port will be connected to my home rack. All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm doing here. And if you're studying for the CCNA 200 301, I have a course on en.kbtrans.com. Goes from zero to engineer can help you start to boost your career in the tech field. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Gibisuku and KB Trainings. Thank you, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye.